Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mauga. okay? This is the brand new tank. You can see all of his abilities here. He has an incendiary chain gun as well as a volatile chain gun. We'll go over that in a little bit. His ultimate is cage fight. His abilities are overrun in cardiac overdrive and his passive um, is berserker, at least his hero specific passive. Berserker basically gives him temporary health, which is basically the over health at a maximum of, in training, in training range is a max of like 650, but I'm pretty sure it's like uh, more in an actual match. Um, but yeah, basically he has two different uh, fire modes. They both share a pool of 300 ammo. So if I shoot out of this, I go down to like, what, 250? I shoot out of this, it, it comes out of the same pool. They share the same magazine, right? Um, when the difference is the left click or the main fire will light people on fire if they get uh, hit with enough bullets. And it's, it's a decent chunk of bullets. I'm not sure the actual count, but no, you have I to light them up for a little bit, dude. I don't care. Um, what his secondary fire is, is what you want to finish enemies off with. It's basically, Shut up, it counts as a, um, what's it called? It basically counts as a critical. So here's where the passive comes in. This is what makes him powerful. You gain health when dealing critical damage. So basically like Echo Beam. Basically like Echo Beam? Not really. It doesn't do more damage with less health there if they're under 50. It only does, um, it does critical damage if they're on fire, right? So see how he's on fire? All of those count as critical. So pay attention to the health. See how my health just went up? Those all counted as critical. Headshots also count as critical, obviously. But basically, every time you do... Basically, the reason you want to light them on fire first is because it counts as... Um, the body shots count as headshots afterwards. They count as critical shots. Right? The reason you can... Well, you can fire them both at the same time like so. The accuracy goes down drastically. This thing is basically a fucking sniper. Right? Little to no weapon spread. You can basically, like, like snipe them from afar. If you have decent enough tracking. If you fire both at the same time, you do get a speed penalty. And on top of that, that shit is, like, all over the place. But if you're, like, close range, this thing can fry an enemy. Just keep in mind, you're basically doubling the amount of ammo that you go through. But you're also basically doubling your, um, damage per second. Remember that you also get healed, so another strat you can do is by using his left shift to get in and then double beaming them with both turrets. Um, he has a new ability, basically Rom's Charge from Paladins, where he basically runs and at the end of the run, he'll do a stomp, which is basically a little AoE attack. He'll hop up, do a little bit of a slam, and all the enemies nearby will take damage. There is something very interesting about his shift, though. While he's running, he is unstoppable. You can see in the can you stop actual the thing. It's like Bob run. It's like no, you could stop it. You could cancel it. So charge forward, stomp to launch enemies. You're unstoppable while charging. In the uh, actual, you now. huh? Kirkus? What? What are we talking about, Kirkus? What's it? <laughs> Um, in the actual run animation that he does, he cannot be stunned or stopped. In the actual, um, like, thematic for his character, in the run, he cannot be lifted by Sigma, like, Gravitic Flux, right? So basically, nothing's able to stop him when he's running like this, and then he could basically land a, um, a stomp. I'm not sure if this counts for honest sleep. We're going to go ahead and test it in the games like, after this. Despise you. But it's nuts, low-key. Not, not even Hog Hook? I don't think so. If Gravitic Flux can't grab him, I doubt these others can. Such as Sleep or, like, um, Cassidy Hinder and stuff like that. I don't think they'll affect him. Which is actually pretty insane. You can cancel it. Say, for example, you... Oh, and there you go, GG. <laughs> can you run through grab? I don't know. These are all things we have to test, Loki. I'm about to find another Pearson, dude. You should do five v five with Hog hooked in your name. What do you mean? Five v five with viewers? Uh, we could do that, but my viewers are literally brain dead children, Loki. To test stuff, we could do that eventually. This is a trial. He's only going to be available for the day. So, like, here, let me go back to spawn and show you. He's only going to be available for the day. So, uh, you can't, yeah, temporarily available for one day until launch, right? So they're just kind of testing him out right now. Letting people try him out and stuff. He definitely seems overpowered. He's like Bastion on legs low-key. Tested on Cinnamon. I'll body slam Cinnamon low-key. His other ability is his E. Which is basically... It... Um, this, this is a bad example. WTF. <laughs> but, 
His E um, is actually pretty cool. His lore is that he has two hearts. His E is his stealth sustain. Um, basically, you you and your allies, when you're dealing damage, you start gaining back health. So basically, they get your um, critical passive. No so, look I at this. Maga, you solo Maga? You win those? I don't think so. This guy's actually fucking busted. I'm not going to lie to you. This guy's low-key busted. You don't want to use your right click by itself unless you actually have them on fire. Because it's low-key, like, no point. Right? So you always want to right click and then... Um, or I'm sorry, you want a primary fire, then secondary fire to finish. Right? So that's the strat here. That way I could get over shield, right? He's absolutely insane, by the way. This is this is insane damage, and his ultimate's actually crazy good. So say, for example, there's a poor innocent backline right there, like a life weaver Ana. I run in. Can't be stunned, by the way. Can't be stunned. I stomp. I Q. And basically, this little cage here forms around the enemy team. They're all stuck in here with me, and I have infinite ammo. Keep in mind, I'm also stuck, and nobody can shoot um, into it. They can't shoot into it, but you can shoot out of it. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. It can be canceled if you hit Q, but basically, it, it, it's it's an insane ultimate. I'm not sure how the cha charge rate's going to work, especially since he does incendiary damage. I don't know how fast it's going to like come up. But yeah, here, as you can see, I can shoot out of it. They can't shoot in. And I have infinite ammo. So literally, quite literally, I could just use this thingamabop. And I could just, like, stand on point and basically just infinite fire them. Cool if he used his fists on the which is pretty fucking cool. If he uses, <laughs> if he just starts beating the shit out of them. <laughs> he whips out his fucking fisticuffs. Starts going to pound town. Then he can't, like, shoot people on the outside of it. It's pretty cool. This character seems pretty broken. We're actually going to hop into some games now. But that's a basic rundown of his abilities and what he can do. Um, I think he's going to be pretty good if they don't change him uh, until live. He has really good sustain and he does really good fucking damage. Which is like quarter mark in any good tank. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll I can't feel my face off too much.